Browns hosting the Bengals, AFC North division rivals, and we've got football back, thank God. And the Bengals are two and a half point favorites. The over under is at 47 and a half. The Bengals are minus 140 on the money line and the Browns are plus 118. Now, if I talk too fast or you rather read the stats instead of listening to them, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com, join my Discord and all of these stats will be here for your viewing pleasure. Now, head to head, the Browns are 8-2 and two against the Bengals in their last 10 meetings. The home team is on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 7-3. and three. The underdog is 7-3 and three against the spread, while the favorite is 7-3 and three on the money lines, meaning the favorite wins these games, the favorite just doesn't cover. The under has hit in their last three games. The over is 6-2-2 two and two in their last 10 meetings. And the over-under at 47.5 points is 5-5 five and five in their last 10 games. The last game that they played against each other... The Bengals won 23 to 10. They were four and a half point favorites. They were the home team. The game before that, the Browns won 32 to 13. They were three point home underdogs. The game before that, the Bengals won 20. Uh, the Browns won 21 16. Uh, they were six and a half point favorites. And then the the Browns were on a one two three four five game winning streak against the Bengals before they snapped it. Now it just depends on if Burrow plays in this game. Everything leans towards the fact that he is but if he isn't right and they get him hurt good lord that's gonna suck for Bengals fans early on in the year i know that they're trying to determine this of whether or not you're gonna pick it and we really didn't get to see what deshaun watson looked like in a full season so now he'll get off season and all this other kind of stuff to kind of gel with his offensive line and his offense just all together with Burrow in the lineup, I understand there's a lot of stats that say take the Browns, but I'm going to take the Bengals. I'm going to take the Bengals with the money line. I'm going to take the Bengals laying the points, and I will go over with him in the game. If he is not in the game, this is a different story, and I would be all over the Browns, but we'll see. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.